Hey friends, it's Sean from Mind Possible, and I had an OBE a couple nights ago, and it's been going over and over in my head since then. I think it's because I need to share it with you. So what I have to share is really for those of you who've been trying and trying and trying and still haven't had your first one, or maybe you've already succeeded at having an OBE and it's been a long time since you've had one, and you're kind of wondering if you're ever gonna have one again. So this video is really about being prepared for an unplanned OBE or being prepared for a spontaneous OBE or astral projection, whatever terminology you use. So I'll just tell you what happened as a way of encouraging you or not giving up hope. Um, but basically, I haven't tried to have an OBE on purpose in, a, in quite some time because I've been focusing on some other things. Um, so I just wasn't expecting it. But interestingly, I've been doing a lot more meditation than usual lately. And the other night when it happened, I was looking, I was reading a book about yoga and I happened to fall in a chapter about astral projection from the yogic tradition. And this is a really old book, but I just read it a little bit. So it was already in my mind, the idea of astral projection or OBEs. And even this book isn't as good as the modern day books about OBEs. I think we can all agree that what's being written today is way more effective for teaching you how to have them. But so the topic was just in my mind as I fell asleep and it was later on in the middle of the night, I think it was around four o'clock in the morning when I became conscious at night and I knew, oh, there's that feeling, like, there's the opportunity. And if you've been training for this and getting closer, you probably know what that feeling is. Maybe you've had the vibrational state, but you didn't get to separate all the way from your body. Or maybe you've had some other indications, but I woke up and I was like, oh, I think this is one of those nights. And my meditation mat was right next to my bed because I do a lot of meditating before bed or in the middle of the night. And I already knew that one of the powerful techniques for achieving the out-of-body state is to get yourself in a position where your body can fall asleep slowly so that you can maintain awareness while you drift back to sleep, while your body drifts back to sleep, but you're, you stay conscious. So I chose to lay down on my meditation mat because I knew that would be kind of uncomfortable. And the thing is I laid there waiting for the vibrational state to come on while maintaining my awareness. And it was kind of too uncomfortable. It was more uncomfortable than I had planned, but I didn't give up. I knew that there was still time that I was still in this window. So I got up and went to my living room and lay down on my couch and I put myself on my back, which is really difficult for me to fall asleep in. So I was on my back on purpose. So as my body drifted off to sleep, my mind would stay awake and I would do my technique. And that night I happened to remember some of the movement-based techniques that I've practiced in the past that were quite successful. So just imagining the sensation of motion as my physical body drifted off. And a familiar sensation came up and there was this whooshing, pulsing sound in the, at the base of my skull, this wow, 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 and I could hear it. And I just tried to relax with it and nothing would happen, it would start fading out. And usually at that point I would give up, but this time I was like, no, I'm gonna bring it back. So I exerted a little bit of intention, a little bit of effort to bring back that pulsing sound, which for me is one of those separation signals. I don't think you read it in a lot of books, um, but it's definitely a separation signal or part of the vibrational state in my experience. So I stuck with it, I thought, you know, this is a, a rare opportunity so let's see what I can make happen. I didn't just give up and I relaxed more. I intended for the whooshing sound and it came back stronger and stronger. And then I knew the next step was to direct my attention somewhere else in the room and want to be there. So as my body drifted and the whooshing sound came back, I knew the next step is focus somewhere else and I did. And it didn't work immediately, but I kept trying trying and the wishing started to fade out but then I, I strengthened my intention to focus somewhere else in the room and then that sense of separation happened and I happened to stay local sometimes when I project suddenly I'm in another environment I think some of you know what I'm talking about but in this case um, as happened when I first started doing this years ago I stayed local meaning I separated from my body and I was in my living room and I walked out, I walked right through my front door and walked down the hallway and did some other activities that I won't talk about here, but they're, they all took place on the local plane, which is interesting. But the key to all this was that I was prepared. I was prepared for the spontaneous OBE. I became conscious in the middle of the night and I knew that this was the opportunity. And I already knew from practice, 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 
go find a place to lay down where you won't fall asleep too easily. Don't stay in bed because you'll black out in bed. And if the first place doesn't work, go find some other place. Relax, let the body fall asleep on its own while you hold your attention to something and just pay attention to those separation signals, but then change your attention to somewhere else, somewhere different from where your physical body is. So that will take your mind away or your astral body away from the physical. So this is really just encouragement that if you haven't succeeded yet, just stick with it. And if you need to take a break for a few weeks or months or even years, you can. But as long as you remember the techniques and what you're supposed to do next, when you know that something special is about to happen, just go for it. Because sometimes these opportunities come when we least expect them. But if you know what to do next and you just follow along, you could have a successful out-of-body experience. So I just want to encourage you to keep training and good luck with everything. Bye-bye.